Guys, so I was just looking in my kitchen at this corn silk and I thought, oh man, you guys will get this. You will get it. An herbalist kitchen, always like, you know, a disaster, right? But we got some wonderful organic corn that we had for dinner and I saved all of the corn silk um, and kind of set it out on this large cookie sheet overnight to let all the little buggies or anything that that might have been caught in there and I thought that some of you in I know we're at the end of corn season but might want to do this so this morning when I came up I could already see that it started drying um, so I've flipped it over look at that it comes out as this kind of <laughs> cobwebby such a great fall herb um, Anyway, so I just kind of spread it out again and changed the position and, you know, stopped things from getting all stacked up on each other, opened that up and spread it out some more. Doing this for a few more days um, until I don't feel the moisture in it, until I feel it totally dry. Um, and then I can go ahead and put it into a glass jar with a lid and label it. I'll add it to the other one I have, which I've shown you before. Here is the corn silk from 2018 that I have left. My last, my, my most recent batch. And it's still in excellent shape. There's no molding. Um, when I open it up, I smell that lovely, light, sweet um, corn silk smell. And I can add it to foods and eat it. Of course, I can also make a tea with it. Um, and use it for urin urinary issues and kidney stones and other things. Okay, so I know it's midweek. I just wanted to give you a little treat while I was working on drying the corn silk so that you can do this before corn silk season is over. You don't have to be a genius, a rocket scientist. It's really easy. If you can take the silk off of your corn and lay it on a tray, um, where there's some breathability happening. It's on a piece of wax paper right now. Um, just oh, a wonderful, mossy, fresh, um, green smell. Okay, so if you, um, if you can do what I just did, um, you are gonna have an herb, dried herb that you wildcrafted yourself in your pantry. And if you have the ability to pour boiling water over it, cover it, you know, in a cup with saucer and wait for a little bit, you will also have a medicinal plant um, that is known specifically for urinary tract issues, but also has other indications, which I'm not going to go into now because this is a really short video. But you have that all at your fingertips. It's so easy and there's no waste in my kitchen. Well, I mean, there sometimes is, but not with the corn.